Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here and welcome to another Mod Spotlight. Today we're going to take a look at the Team Fortress 2 Teleporter and also the Team Fortress 2 Sentry, uh, which is originally for the Engineer. So with this one I'm going to show you how to craft it because not, there's only the two items that are part of this mod. Um, so just to make it a little bit more interesting I'll show you how to make them for once. So what you're going to need is... Um, some iron ingots, which I've already got myself, <laughs> as you may see. And you need to make a base for the teleporter. So this goes like this, you basically make a H, there we are, and then you get a teleporter base. Then you're going to want a teleport propeller. And this goes, uh, we need some redstone and redstone torches. So this goes like this, you've got three iron across the bottom. Uh, a redstone in a T-shape, upside down T-shape like that, and uh, the torches go like that. So there's one of those, and then you need. So you use coloured dye, depending if you're on the red team or the blue team. So you only need um, one. Let's just get oh, one of those. So I'll make a red one, and then it goes like this. You put your base in, you propeller on top of that, and the colour at the top, and that gives you one of those which is the TF2 teleporter and I'll show you how this works now let's put one here and what you need to do is you need to right click it and it will bring up this thing let's let's just um, hide that so we don't get confused so this is the frequency and what you need to do here is if you have multiple teleporters or multiple teams if you're doing it on like an FPS map or something like that you would need to set the frequency uh, so it matches the other teleporter so I'm going to set it to 1 and we're going to go head off in this kind of direction obviously because I'm in game mode I have an unlimited supply of these if you're doing this in survival you obviously need to make two teleporters so let's stick the other one here and of course I need to set this to 1 so it matches the other teleporter and there we go it activates and then it's got the sound and everything you hear it <laughs> so all you need to do just like Team Fortress is you step on it and whoop yay you get teleported how cool is that yep and of course you can make one for the blue team so let's do another one right next to that and we'll set this to 2 and we'll go down here and this is just so proof of concepts so you can see that this actually works uh, with two different teleporters so we'll put that one there set it to two hop on and we should get teleported there we go how cool is that right so let's take a look at this sentry gun now and um, I'll show you how to make the basic parts you need to get yourself some iron and make a shape like this and that will give you the sentry base and then you need to do the, the sentry head so you need four iron ingots like this you need to put the dispenser in the middle redstone top and bottom and then you need gunpowder left and right and that will give you the sentry head and then all you need to do then is put the base the head and then the colour you want it to be at the top which will give you a TF2 sentry you'll also want to make um, uh, how would you say a wrench, a spanner, depending on what country you come from. Uh, so let's you just need four gold bars like that. Yeah, it's called a wrench on here. I would call it a spanner if you're from the UK. And um, you can also make an iron one, but the gold one's much better. So let's get one of those. We're also going to want um, the sentry monitor. So we need a piece of glass, two switches and a bit of redstone so you put your glass at the top your two switches in the in the middle and redstone down either side and that will give you a sentry monitor and I'll show you what that does in a moment so let's go and place our sentry over here uh, yep doink there it goes now as you can see it's just a little lonesome little sentry um, and you can do your upgrades with your golden spanner which is like has uses on it basically uh, you're going to need plenty of golden spanners to keep this thing alive so with the sentry monitor you can right click it and you can choose what you want to want it to kill 
So you can have it kill blazes, chicken. Well, every every mob is in there, basically. See that? So it'll try and shoot everything. So just for this, we'll have it shooting um, zombies. Do, 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 do. There. And then we will get a zombie spawner egg. Uh, where is it? There it is. So, let's place the zombie down. Yeah! Check that out. Really effective. So with the spanner, give it a few hits. And then it gets upgraded to that. Hey! So let's get another zombie. And he gets his ass whoops. And then a few more hits. A few more hits. And there we go. It's now got the rocket launcher on it as well. Now this is pretty crazy. Ready? <laughs> There's no way anything is surviving this little bad boy. Oh my god! Awesome! Now, alright, right, okay, chill out. Now obviously he runs out of ammo and whatnot, so if we um, right click him with the spanner rather than uh, hitting him with it, you'll see that he's used some rockets up and he's used quite a bit of ammo up. So, and his health is alright there, his health. So uh, what you need to do is to charge it back up again. You just need to hit it and you see the little love hearts until they stop. And then obviously when you right click again it's all fully charged up. Nice. So that's that mod. It's pretty simple um, and just for pure enjoyment we're going to decimate a few zombies. <laughs> oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> what do you mean I've got a sadistic side? Don't know what you're talking about! <laughs>